too tall. Could he use a few I've said a number of times this week how it's been disappointing and uh, rather confusing to uh, see some of the divisions within the, the merger between uh, the Tigers and the Magpies to create the West Tigers. Uh, we spoke to Roy Masters earlier today for all those Magpies fans that have been ringing us both on air and off air here at the, uh, at the studios of uh, the Super Network. Um, but it's interesting to see Roy's article that has suggested that they were internal struggles uh, with West. Uh, but West Ashfield uh, have uh, reconfirmed their stance in principle to support the uh, conduct of a single New South Wales Cup team, which will be representative of both uh, joint venture clubs in the season of 2013. Uh, we thought we'd catch up with uh, Daniel Watson Hayes, who is the director of Western Southern District Rugby League. Thanks for your time, Daniel. Not a problem, thanks. Yeah. Um, your thoughts today following Roy's article? Um, I mean, I think they were pretty open and honest, and I think um, the essence of a joint venture in is, is always going to be, uh, it's always going to have its ups and downs and, and its troubles. I mean, it's like a marriage. It's never 100%. You're, you're always not going to get on. Mm. See to eye to eye on different things. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it pretty much hit the mark. Uh, I mean, Lloyd Masters being an old Western suburbs man himself, he probably knows, you know, the ins and outs of the, of the black and whites more, than, more so than any journalist yeah. uh, out there. Um, so, yeah, he... He hit the mark pretty well on the head, I thought. Yeah. Uh, why does it get to this the way it is at present? I think it's... And I, I did hear your uh, interview yesterday with um, uh, young Graham. Um, it does have a lot to do with uh, past, past boards, past uh, administration, and I think just to build up attention over those years. Hmm. Um, it is sad. Um, I'm new blood myself, and um, you know, I'm trying to look forward, not backwards. Yeah. Uh, well... I mean, it's, it's good to see West Ashfield come out with their support again today. Um, um, but your thoughts on the fact that there should only be one New South Wales Cup team representative of the venture next uh, next year in 2013? Uh, the previous board and uh, current board members like myself, we have a, our own personal opinions. Mine is that um, I would like to see uh, Western Suburbs and both our main uh, probably stand alone and, and remain as single identities. Unfortunately, money talks, Graham, and um, the commercialisation, I suppose, of sport and rugby league in general, especially over the last 15 years, 20 years, um, that's the nature of the business. Yeah, um, uh, 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 let me just make sure that you're correct here. Um, you're talking standalone in the NRL or standalone in respect of the State Cup? In the New South Wales Cup. Okay. West, West, Western Bell made, made their bed uh, on the 27th of July 1999 to basically to forego their single identities to, to basically preserve their future through West Tigers. Um, and I'm, I'm in complete agreement with that, and as are the, the other board members. Um, but however, the New South Wales Cup is a, is a, is a completely different beast. We still see that as being uh, an, an integral part of the future and, uh, and pathway, I suppose, for, for the MacArthur area and, and to be seen as an as a, um, inevitable progression to West Tigers. But um, unfortunately, uh, those decisions have now been... Uh, taken out of our hands, and um, these are the cards that we've been dealt with. Is there any going back on that? I mean, uh, I would imagine the board of the, the West Rugby League Footy Club um, are desperate to keep a mag we are. Magpies team in the State Cup, but so, so what has to happen for, for, that to, for that to happen? The governance of the football club, and let me just make this clear, the governance of the football club, and has been for a very long time, has basically been thanks to the unwavering support of West Ashfield Leagues Club. Um, without the support, the unanimous support and sole support of West Ashfield, Western Suburbs District Rugby League Football Club Limited wouldn't be in existence today and wouldn't have been for the last 12 years, 13 years. Right. So, I mean, at the end of the day, West Ashfield are, are, are basically, you know, the sole stage, I, I suppose, of the Magpie identity and Western Suburbs as a brand. Um, so, basically, we're governed upon what the Ashfield Leagues Club does. So if they decide they're going to only support one as part of the joint venture, then that's it. No money, no team. I think that's uh, as, clear as, uh, as clear as black and white. Wow. No grey area. Mm. Well, that's a shame. I mean, I, that, that surprises me from a, a, a layman's point of view, given the size of the MacArthur area in terms of kids coming through and all of those things. Um, compared to the size of the, the Balmain area as such, juniors. You know? I think um, it's important to note that, again, it's, 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 you know, 
the, the major the major sort of focus upon well, from from my perspective as a director is that we don't lose um, you know the, the pathway in the nursery that we have in the southwest of Sydney. Um, I've been very open and honest and very critical as, as as a supporter and as a member and now as a football club director is that there needs to be a greater presence uh, in in the western suburbs area of of Liverpool, Campbelltown, Macarthur, Southern Highlands, etc. Um, and, and that, that's, that's the biggest thing. So I think that's the biggest challenge. You look beyond State Cup, you look beyond all the sort of internal to- uh, politics and whatnot. Yeah. We need a greater presence from, I suppose, which is now the, the, uh, the, the NRL identity, which is West Tigers. We need them to say, you know, uh, we, we do need them to commit more than four times a year. That, that's, the ne- that's the biggest battle because we will, we will lose support, we will lose juniors, um, and we don't want to lose that area. Do you get surprised in the two sides of any argument that both will believe their logic outweighs each other? Uh, yeah, I, I think there is always going to be that. But um, I think that just comes down to emotion rather than anything else. That's my biggest um, worry in it, the emotion. I asked the same question today to um, Roy. Yeah, I mean, you know, rugby league was built on tradition, it was built on heritage, it was built on history and tradition, and, and, and emotion does play a big role. Um, and, you know, these, these issues are, are never easy. Um, and you know hearts will be broken. Mm. Um, and again, it's just, it's it's the commercial reality of what I suppose the way the way sport is going. Um, yeah. You know. I, however, I do review the comment that was made uh, in jest by Paul Kent from the Telegraph the other day, saying that no one misses Glebe anymore. Well, <laughs> in all fairness, you know Glebe hasn't 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 been around as long as Dalmain and Western Suburbs has. So. Mm. And um, when, when you take it into account, you know, close to a, a combined 208 years of history, you know, there's, there's a big difference there. Yeah, um, a lot of people have rung us, as I said, off air and on air, um, wanting to quote to us what constitutions state. Is it time for the joint venture to redo the constitution in some respect? Um, look, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not privy to sort of comment on that at the moment. Um, again, it's... It's up to the joint venture board, and I suppose it's up to more so the uh, you know the, the people in the know. At um, I suppose you know as that that are directly involved. I suppose from a West Tigers point of view, from West Ashfield, uh, West Campbelltown, and the Balmain Group uh, to sort of make that decision. Um, and I, I do believe that'll probably be made in due time. The game's changed a little bit over the years. Um, you know, I mean, it's, you've got under twenties now, and a lot of those guys don't get picked up by NRL clubs and you know, there's not too many places for them to go. How many of your Western Suburbs team, for example, your State Cup team, how many of them are locals? Um, how many of your West Juniors are playing at other clubs? And uh, I mean, how have you got all of that sort of stuff at hand? Uh, not on me. <laughs> but I would say that there is a fair, fair whack out there. Are they all locals playing State Cup or are they from all over the place? This year, uh, well, basically... Due to this sort of arrangement that's been enabled and made from West Tigers, um, basically the New South Wales Cup team this year has been put together through basically kids and players wanting an opportunity to play at the second tier of, uh, of the highest level of rugby league. Um, that's basically what Western Suburbs has been made to become uh, due to the fact that they're not seen as a direct feeder club for West Tigers um, anymore with Tim Sheen's opting to just put all the basically NRL fringe players that are on West Tigers contracts into Balmain um, down my road eastward, sorry, and um, and basically Western Suburbs is this year just proving to be yeah. basically if you want an opportunity to come play rugby league and a second chance to be seen, um, you know that's the sort of um, prospect of, of what we're offering. Daniel, where do you think the Magpies will be in five years? Graham, my biggest concern as a director and as a supporter uh, and a long life Magpie is that I don't want to see the Western Suburbs District Rugby League Football Club limited dissolve. I want it to still be providing a service for rugby league. Yeah. Um, and if, if that is basically in the form of a joint venture with Balmain uh, to form the West Tigers at the NRL level, uh, if it is after obviously supporting now what seems to be um, a New South Wales Cup level uh, from 2013 onwards, 2013 onwards. Um, but I also want to see the Western Suburbs NAFI still... Uh, being represented in the lower tiers of the game um, and, and providing the opportunities and pathway of rugby league from, you know, the MacArthur region to um, to the NRL. I mean, that, that's imperative. And, and if, as long as the District Rugby League football club can still provide that service in some, in some way supporting rugby league, 
um, and, and bearing you know, the mighty Western Suburbs Magpies logo and emblem mm. um, that has been in existence for 104 years, then um, by all means, uh, that'll still make me proud and, and it'll still yeah. go a okay. long way to show that the brand awareness is still there. All right, okay, that's your wants. Do you fear about it? I do fear. I do fear. Um, and I think every Western Suburbs supporter and I think every uh, rugby league fan in the Macarthur region fears where I suppose the Magpies and the football club uh, are going to be in five years, or little, little in four months. Um, but as a director, I've got a sole responsibility to ensure that the brand, the club, will still be there. Mm. Appreciate your openness. Appreciate your time on the show today. And uh, look, we wish you well uh, for 2012 and beyond. Thanks, Greg. Mm. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, Daniel Watson Hayes. Mm. Interesting. It's been a mighty club. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a mighty club. Um, With a lot of very passionate fans over the years. Yeah. You know? mm. Yeah, but it's. As he said, you know, the p- person that knows the club better than most is Roy Masters, who wrote that article today in the Herald. Uh, shame that and it seems that so much of the fighting has been n- internal. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And I think there's too much emotion in it. And as I said, everyone will believe they are right. But you know what? There's a, there's a, I like the Alex Ferguson thing. The club is always bigger than the parts. Mm. And the club, you know, there'll be a, a range of different leaders throughout clubs, so they've got to get it right because it's their legacy. If it goes down on their watch... Their legacy. 